Today's project is an acrylic sign made on an Xtool P2. This is a sign that was requested that was a store's logo. So I'm going to go through the steps it took to make this sign. Some of the materials we used today, we used an Xtool P2 CO2 laser and we used two sheets of cast acrylic, black and white. Some of the things we'll focus on today in this tutorial. The fine detail cutting, you can see with the acrylic, with the uh, CO2 laser. We're going to be looking at the predefined material settings and the ease of cutting acrylic on this CO2 laser. This project design time was about 10 minutes. It took about 10 minutes to cut. And assembly time with glue up was about 20 minutes. So let's take a quick look again at the sign we made today and let's go over the steps. Let's walk through the steps we used to make this. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a rectangle approximately the size of my material. This helps me visualize my design and get the sizing pretty close to correct. Now I'm going to import a PNG file of the company's logo. Luckily it was already transparent, but if it isn't, you can um, edit that right inside of XCS. You have the ability to delete the background. I'm going to use the outline tool here, and I'm going to set the outline to zero. What that's going to do is it's going to convert my PNG to um, an SVG or cut file that I can now use. I'm going to scale that to the right size. I'm just making it black uh, and engraved so I can see it a little easier while I edit. I will need to cut it back or turn it back to cut at some point in here, but just I find it easier to visualize making it engraved for a few minutes. I want to draw a box that's going to be the background of my sign. Um, so I'm going to pick the rectangle tool again. I'm going to use the rounded corner feature and give it a nice kind of finished look with rounded corners. Now that I have that, I can delete my outside box that I was using as a guide. Just going to scale that up a little tiny bit. I'm just going to change the color of my outside box just so I can differentiate between the two. I'm going to change that back to cut now. <clears throat> I'm going to use um, the settings in XCS to get my predefined material settings. So I know this is 3 millimeter black acrylic. So there's no guessing on what the settings would be. I can come right in here, pick it, click use, and now it's going to give me the best settings for cutting this black acrylic. I uh, hit the refresh tool so I can see the, what's the actual live view of the, the bed in my P2. And now I'm ready to go. I'm going to position a little bit better inside of my black acrylic piece here. Quick turn on for engrave just so it's a little bit easier to see on the dark black background. I'm going to move my cut line off to the side there. Because I don't need that for black, I'm going to use that later on a white piece. I'm just measuring to get the depth of the material. Now I'm going to use a close-up view. This is helpful because it allows me to take a, a very precise look at exactly where my design is going to fit on the acrylic. So I have the ability to move it a little bit more just so I'm using less material or wasting less material. When I've got that in place exactly where I want it, I can turn off the, the um, detailed view and I can get ready to cut my piece. I hit process and now I'm going to send it to my laser cutter. Come over here, I click start. It's kind of hard to see because I'm cutting on a black background. Um, so, pardon the glare, but next step is it's just going to cut out my material. <clears throat> Cuts out very quick, um, so we'll let that go for a second, and then we'll take a look at our next steps. Okay, for the next step, what we're going to do is because of the kind of precise um, layout of the letters of this logo on the white acrylic, I'm going to score the white acrylic so I can use that as a guide for when I'm aligning the letters. So I'm going to load my white acrylic into my P2. 
I'm going to bring down my design. I'm going to change it from cut to score because I just want this to do a light outline of what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to bring down my cut box, uh, which is going to be the background for it, and just make sure it's all aligned. And once I'm happy with the alignment for that, I'm going to both vertically and horizontally align this inside of the box. Make sure it's positioned just right. And I'm ready to send it to the laser for cutting and scoring. Alright, so let's take a look at it. Doing the um, score lines for my design. You can see that even though the font is really, really small on this, you get some really, really crisp lines. Um, that's one of the kind of the neat things when I um, was interested in finding a CO2 laser and just looking at the accuracy for this, I was super impressed with how how really fine details you can produce. Um, so this is quickly going to go through and score my design, so I can get ready to glue it up. Now here's a view of the score lines on the white acrylic. As you can see, it's a nice guide. And then here I've glued it up. Um, what I did was I took um, some gel super glue and placed each piece very delicately on the white background. And here is my finished product. You can see, even though it's a smaller sign, the details are really, really, really spectacular. Thank you for watching.